Hello and welcome to Chuck's Diecast Car and Model Reviews. Today we're taking a look at this particular model. This is the uh, Porsche 918 Spider. Uh, this particular model is made by AutoArt and is a very excellent model. Can't wait to uh, show it to you. Um, this is sort of the uh, third of my uh, three videos of the triumvirate of hyper cars that came out in you know about 10 years ago or close to 10 years ago uh, I already have videos on the Ferrari La Ferrari and the McLaren P1 so this is the third and final one I actually do have another model of this uh, but I decided to get myself a little bit nicer version of this particular car and so I'm showing you the nicer one uh, and uh, I can't remember the name of the manufacturer of the other one, but it is actually a pretty good model, but this one is actually excellent. Um, now, uh, about the uh, 918 itself, uh, you know, as I said, this was a hyper car of, you know, close to 10 years ago. Um, this car had a 4.2 liter V8 in it, which produced about 600 horsepower. And then it had a couple of electric motors that provided another close to 300 horsepower. So it had uh, almost 900 horsepower. Uh, it is all made of carbon fiber, so it was relatively light. And therefore, it is about as fast as you could get. It actually set uh, the production speed record for a car around the Nürburgring at the time. I think it was a little under seven minutes. Uh, but uh, again this is an amazing car and you know I've had the privilege to see a few of them including the the concept car which did look a little different from this it uh, had a uh, the wing mirrors here uh, were different they were actually just sort of posts like this with a little tubular thing coming off of them which were actually cameras and then also uh, for those of you who don't know about the exhaust of the 918, it comes right out of the top. Um, the concept car did not have that. It had, uh, I believe it actually had uh, just regular rear exhausts. Uh, but I'd have to take a look at the photos that I took of it at the time uh, to make sure of that. Uh, but again, this car was, you know, just a staggering in terms of its performance. Zero to 60 and around... Two and a half seconds, uh, top speed. You know, I think it was somewhere around 215 miles an hour, and uh, basically it was as fast as you would ever want to go. So, um, so let's take a look at the model itself here. Um, this particular version of the 918 is what's called the Nurburgring edition. Nurburgring editions had uh, a couple of tweaks. I think it had, uh, first of all, the Rear wing was this bare carbon fiber. It also had the bare carbon fiber roof panel. And they also had special paint jobs. Um, this particular paint scheme is uh, a tribute to a Porsche 917 that raced in the uh, early 1970s. And I believe it was called the Salzburg edition. But I, I'm not positive of that. Um, but uh, taking a look at the model itself. Um, oh yeah, and also the... Nurburgring edition. I also had the little doodads here on the side, I guess, to help the aerodynamics around the rear of the car too. But uh, other than that, you know, it uh, it's I can't. I, I, I'm sure that nobody who actually owns one of these would actually exploit the difference in performance between this car and a regular standard 918. You're just paying to say that you have one. So, uh, but. Uh, but there is one actually at my local dealership. It's uh, doesn't have a special paint scheme. It's just uh, plain yellow. The owner of the car is the owner of the dealership, and he has a yellow one of these. He has a yellow Singer 911. He has a yellow Roof 911. So in other words, he makes a lot of money. So <laughs> anyway, uh, um, again, I'm going to go ahead and take the, the roof panel off of this car here and you can see that the uh, carbon fiber detail is pretty good in there um, I'm taking it off because it's not held on by anything so 
when I move it around it's probably going to fall off anyway. <clears throat> but uh, let's uh, take a look at the, uh, first of all, the side profile here. Um, you can see the, uh, of course the detail on the decals is excellent. Uh, detail here on the wheels is very nice as well. Um, you can see the uh, uh, green calipers with the Porsche logo on them. Green signifying that this is a hybrid, meaning that this is, uh, you know, uh, Porsche claiming that their car is green and environmentally friendly. And it also has that hybrid um, thing there behind the front tire as well. So, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it, uh, I'm sure it's very, very fuel efficient. I will say that um, it is a hybrid, so you can actually drive it on full electric power. But I believe the if you drive it on full electric power, it only has a range of like 12 miles. So, I guess you could drive it on all electric all the time or for you know to the grocery store in your neighborhood and that would be about it but then you wouldn't have nearly as much fun because the it would only have about 250 to 300 horsepower instead of 900 um, but uh, taking a look at the front here uh, detail on the uh, the headlights is excellent you know the these are projector beams here behind plastic covers looks pretty good the uh, the vents here, the you know intakes for the brakes and the cooling, are not photo etch or anything like that. They don't go all the way through, so you can't see the radiators behind them or anything like that. Um, the uh, um, the front air dam here is not carbon fiber decal. It is it is textured carbon fiber, but it's kind of so small it doesn't stick out very much so it really it really doesn't matter uh, taking a look at the uh, well actually you know this does have a front trunk so let's take a look at that here too and of course you can see the capacious trunk there provided for your one attache case you could probably fit in there uh, for your trip so uh, you're not going to be taking this too far if uh, if you need to uh, you know, carry a lot of luggage, but I guess if you have the money to uh, buy one of these, you probably have the money to have your luggage flown out in front of you. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at the back here. Uh, the uh, the rear wing is carbon fiber decal, so that looks good. Um, the 911, uh, I mean, excuse me, the 918 script here and the Porsche are all decal and they all look very sharp um, the uh, the rear deck here uh, for the uh, engine looks very nice and uh, of course the exhausts here you know look pretty decent as well um, there you there is no access to the engine here on this model and frankly I don't even think that customers have access to the engine themselves so um, I guess that's sort of in keeping with being an owner of a 918 you can't get to the engine um, but uh, taking a look at the rear here uh, you can see that the, uh, the tail lights look pretty good I mean they're not super awesome or anything but they're pretty good um, the uh, uh, reverse light looks uh, pretty decent there too and the rear diffuser again is texture carbon texture plastic and not carbon fiber decal but again uh, I'm fine with that um, the uh, however the uh, little Nurburgring edition side skirts are carbon fiber decal so that that's good there um, now um, the reason why I got this model and I'm showing this over the other version that I have is because the roof panel does remove and the interior of this car uh, it, you know the model here it just has a an excellent interior I mean this is really really good um, you can see there that the detail on the center console is spot-on steering wheel looks fantastic 
the gauges on the dash look so good um, you know everything in there looks really really good door panels there you can see are excellently made too and then uh, once you uh, take a look here at the seats you'll see that uh, you know it even has the 918 uh, spider script on the headrest and the uh, the trim is also uh, in there too so this is a really really handsome model in terms of particularly the interior so I'm very very happy with this by the way if you didn't know this the uh, the 918's uh, center console floats so it's just like a little arc there maybe there I think there's a there's a little storage space that you can put your brown bag lunch in or something like that behind there but uh, again this is a really really good model in terms of detail on the interior okay um, but uh, you know that completes my review for today um, I'm very happy with this model as I mentioned um, this is actually die cast metal by the way you know modern uh, auto arts are getting away from that so this is die cast so that that's good to see um, and so um, I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, you know, if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.